down towards third man, the first boundary of the fixture. It wasn't a con convincing one and a positive one. Oh, another no ball. Problems for Shoa Bakhtar at that end. Down at the other end, he certainly is troubling the batsman. Oh, it's just chipped again, hurried. Dipinar shaping to pull and perilously close to square leg. Fortune again for the Africans. 16 for none after three. On goes to Dipinar. And again, fortunate runs. It could go all the way to the fence. Show up as the chaser. Oh, the slide is uh, ineffective and a fortunate boundary for Dipinar. Oh, my word. Now he's been shaping it away and that one's nipped back and passed over the top of middle. What a beauty. Superb over concluded from Shobakdar. Unlucky, a maiden nonetheless. It's 24 for none after five. This is Zahir Khan. And he's cracked away convincingly for four. The first stroke of real authority from the African 11. And De Villiers hooks it down towards long leg. It's going to go all the way and does. It's the short boundary. And he didn't play it again with a great deal of conviction. More off the top edge. Good shot. Back 40 likes him there. Home ground, of course, Raby de Villiers and four runs. Quite deep. That is uh, a very good delivery. And up goes the finger as well. It might have just been outside the line. There's a bit of shape from Shaw Bakhtar. Raby de Villiers was certainly trapped on the crease. He has beaten the bat. Let's have a good look. He goes back. Well, if it doesn't hit the bat, I'll tell you what, it's knocking all three out. Nice little innings from Abedi Williams. Ends. Gone for 24. 39 for 1 on Africa 11 now. Terrific shot. Pounce onto the front foot and driving for four. Gone. Quite a second slip. Khan has struck. So, Shah Bakta on the last over. And a few balls later, it's Khan who struck as well. So a couple of quick wickets is exactly what the Asian 11 would have liked. Break that opening stand, get a new man there, and try and get another wicket straight away, which they've done. So yeah, it's not a good time to lose the second wicket when Jock Callis on the other side just come in. But good delivery, it's got to be said. He had to play it, did a little bit, and he's come back. You know, the first ball was a wide for four, and then the wicket. Dip and I gone for 14. 44 for two now, Africa 11. Not a bad shot, that one, up goes the finger. So Ong Tong on his way back now, this is disastrous for the African 11. They got off to a very good start, they were going at over five to the over, and now they've lost three quick ones. Ong Tong goes for naught, 44 for three now. Cries of catch it, and it is straight to him, and he's gone. Short ball has got to Jacques Callas out. It is amazing how this game has turned around. The Asian 11 are ecstatic parts and they've now lost four. You're so right. They are so aware that Jock Callis is the danger man. What a big wicket. 53 for four now, the Africa 11. Propped in the commentary box. Runs immediately for Steve Ticolo and as it speeds down to a very fine leg for four, but not off the bat of the Kenyan. Extras, but certainly welcomed by this African 11. Oh, he's got him. The edge is found. And Tikala goes without scoring. And Africa are in heaps of trouble at 57 for five. Well, that's what we were talking about. They're getting a lot of movement off, this, off the seam where the ball is going. Some have even shaped away and then come in. But take a look at that. Bound space, everything right about it, and the edge. So Ticolo, not a lot of joy for him. He's gone for zero. It's 57 for five now. Zashish Nera, and immediately clipped away through square leg for four. Powerfully played by Boucher. Oh, beauty. Had to play, and it just held its line. And beat the outside edge. It's been a wonderful bowling performance. Beautifully driven down the ground. It's a punch from Boucher. The outfield is lightning. This should go all the way and does. Confident stroke from Mark Boucher. 16 overs gone. It's 72 for five. Somehow curbing. That's a great stroke from Prince. Quick on the pull. Certainly the most outstanding stroke of the innings.
Goes out there in his bustling fashion. That's a crisp stroke for four. A lovely extra cover drive from Asheville Prince. Big shout. And up goes the figure from Steve Davis. Looking for that sweep shot again was Mark Boucher. I'm not convinced that Mark Boucher's totally happy with that. However, he's now on his way back to the pavilion. Boucher, a wonderful innings of his, comes to an end. 14. Thick edge from Prince, and this will speed away down to third man for four and bring up the African 11, 150. Oh, he's bowled him. That's a poor shot from Pollock. He's played right across the straight one. And Kumbli has struck and seven down the African 11 with just 152 on the board. It's a big wicket at this stage of the man. Let's have a look at this master. The quicker one, it skids on. Pollock plants his foot and then comes down late on it. And he's gone. That's the captain. Big, big wicket. Gone for two. 152 for seven now. Good use of the feet. Pushing it beautifully in the gap at mid-wicket. It's a long chase for Afridi. Coming back for the third. Big arm! Oh, my word, that was a good throw from Afridi in the deep. It meant that Prince, who's quick, really had to stretch. Keepers. Oh, my word! He's edged a long hop. And it was wide. It was a real strangle, almost with a hint of laughter. But Puyer is gone, and Africa sink deeper into trouble at 164 for eight helped on its way down to fine leg oh blunder it's gone for four a sloppy fielding from abdul razak down to kemp oh that's well bowled it's a big appeal and he's got him that's beautiful bowling that fast in drifting yorker bowl to perfection Catching Justin Kemp on the foot, and that would have got many players in the world out. Just be sneaking down the leg side. Tell you what, that foot is burning as well. So the plot to use the super has been won in vain, as Africa are now 174 for nine. He's playing well, and he's not taking the single. Edged. Handy four runs for African 11. He's got that away. That's just nearer as the chaser. He might as well give it up because he's gone for four. So he hasn't got back on strike, but those runs are valuable. 197 for nine. On target, on the stumps, and out. I think, yep. Up goes the finger straight away from Billy Doctrove. Dal Stane was uh, looking to get... So all out for 198. There it is. On the offside, and a direct hit, just, uh, I suppose, a stump and a half, basically, maybe two stumps to aim at, really. And also, of course, that nasty thud, which I think hit him on the glove, hit him uh, in the chest and the ribs. And he's going to be sitting for about 40 minutes, I'd guess, right now. Edged! Oh, and missed! It's gone for four. That is enough movement to get a number three slip in there. It would have been straight to him. Sewag at his best, launching over cover, two skips and away for four. It's what he does best and what people love seeing him do. He's got the ability to put things out of his mind. Shots. Nicely clipped away and through, misfielded and away for four. It was beautifully balanced stroke from Sangakara. Not so balanced from De Villiers at uh, just four to square leg. Sweetly driven and through for four, overpitched, a hint of width, and very elegantly dispatched by Kumar Sangakara. It's 21 for none. That's beautifully clipped away, just straying onto the pads and exquisite balance and timing from Varenda Sewag. Another boundary. Well, he forces you into that, doesn't he? He forces you to bowl straight at him. And when you stray and you marginally offline, it's easy pickings. Cricket, Sean Pollock. That's a good throw. Overpaced, a rare delivery from Sean Pollock. And it's been dealt very severely by Verinda Sabah. And he's 
Cracked that away for four. He loves him there to Sawag. Not a lot of effort in that one. And it was short, without any pace. Allowed wherein the Sawag. Plenty of time to rock back on the back foot and then hit the ball into the gap. In the middle of the year. Beautiful shot. The margin of error is minimal. Out. That's going to be out. Huge neck. Everybody is shouting. The umpire wasn't. Let's listen. Definite neck. In fact, Verinda Sawak also looking around as the ball went through to Mark Boucher. Crack that away. That is a beautiful shot. That is trademark. Kumar Sangakara. Dismissive. Beautiful shot. This is quality cricket. Disdainful. Sangakara. That time is gone. He's run it off the face. In fact, he's walked. He hasn't worried for Billy Doctor to put the finger up. Sean Pollock uh, should have had him. The last ball of his previous over. He's got him now. The two next. Verinda Savag is walking back after scoring 21 runs. And Asian 11, 50 for one. Out. There was a neck. And this side. The umpire got it right. There was a pin edge, there was a good delivery, and the captain not leading from the front, picking up two wickets in one over. The African 11 now are batting, got off to a good start, and then lost a cluster of wickets. The same thing is happening to the Asian 11. Mark Boucher in the game again. This time he throws it up and looks anxiously towards uh, Billy Doctorow. There's a few extra appeals, one from Justin Kemp as well. On the hook shot, and he's got it straight to mid on, so there's the third wicket. In the over to Sean Pollock. I told you he doesn't like messing around with Hobart Ashrafal. He's gone for the hook straight away and just spooned it to mid on. The African 11 are back in this game. Sean Pollock sensational. Wicket number three for Sean Pollock. 52 for three, Asian 11. Oh, and he nearly had him. He nearly had him there, spiring it outside off stump. Just a little wry smile from Inzi. In the air, now, he's under it, he's got it, that's a big wicket, Inza Mamalak is out. Well, this could be the defining moment for Africa. That is the wicket they wanted. They managed to get Inzi to play a false stroke. So that's a big, big wicket, Inzi's gone, 59 for four now. Well, we talked about it. If it's up, it's off, that's for sure. Well, that's comprehensive. Pitched up in the slot, he just had to guard against that away swing. For four runs, second boundary for him. There he goes again, this time over mid-wicket. It hasn't come out of the sweet spot, but it's enough to go for back-to-back -back boundaries. Well, you can't, can't keep him quiet. Too short, pulled away. That's a super stroke for four. And since Sean Pollock doesn't have but many options as bowlers in this game and in this situation. Edged and gone. Afridi heaving expansively outside the off stump gets a healthy edge and Boucher takes a very neat catch. Well, as a bowler, you've got to be consistent against Shahid Afridi. You have to find a right line length to ball at him. Well, with the departure of Afridi, the complexion of the game changes once more, and we could be in for a cliffhanger here. It's 89 for five. I got him! Color strike, Sangakara goes. I fancy there may have been just a little bit of an inside edge, but it cannons into off stump. And with Sangakara's departure, 96 for six. Looks like a slow delivery. Rolling the fingers over the seam of the ball. Jacques Callas on that occasion. And getting the desired result. Huge record for them. Sangakara, he was batting well. He's gone. And the hopes are going along with him for the Asian 11 to win this game. 
for runs. Well, the pitch is just a little bit slow, and if you're looping it up, you don't hit the right area. Oh, he's got just a bit of bat on that. There were two noises. I think there was another noise of bat hitting his toe, but there was definitely bat on ball, which saved it from hitting the furniture. Well, Alan Kumble likes to get outside of line. Super hit, lofted over mid-off and down the ground for four. A lovely strike by Anil Kumble. Well, that's a brave hit by Anil Kumble. I think he spotted it a bit early. Sweetly driven and through for four. Was marginally overpitched with just enough width for Razak to free the arms. And he picked his spot perfectly. Swept powerfully, this could go for four. Prince is quick, but not quick enough. Momentum shift, perceptibly the way of the Asian 11. That's pretty adjacent. Yes, I'm afraid it is. Up goes the finger, Jock Keller strikes. It's the elusive wicket they wanted. This partnership was getting threatening. Anil Kumble walking back after scoring 24. And Asian 11, 152 for seven. Create a bit of room for himself outside. I think he's time. touched it. Yes, he has. Nicky Bouillet has got him. A thin edge. Mark Pouch has done the business. Now that is a big wicket. Finally edging the ball into the hands of Mark Boucher. And Asian 11, 169 for eight. Whack, that's gone for four. That's the boundary they want. Whoever shows that one will win the game. Great shot. Oh, my goodness. He smashed that over the bowler's head for six. Shah acted at his very best. It was in the slot, and he's all smiled. Why not? A big, big hit. Well, just a nut camp. In the air, and that's a wicket. Well, the batsman is standing. He thinks it's a bum ball. It's doubtful. There is a, an element of doubt. But the final decision by the umpire has been made. Shwe Bhakta, after playing a handful knock, is walking back. 193 for nine. He's bowling! Dale Stein has done the business for the African side. He's got the final wicket. Well, it doesn't get closer than this. Colossi delivery at the right time. They're overjoyed. And spare a thought for that man. Well, it was a classic delivery for the tail ender. The perfect one. The ball shaping back to the stumps. And the tail ender leaving a huge gap between bat and bat. And he was looking to hit the ball hard only managing an inside edge onto the mill sun. They are ecstatic.